Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Big Cats in the UK. Now, I'm not sure what episode this is. I know it's could be 14 or 15 right now. So the reason for this video is I'm not going to indulge into a certain sighting or a specific um, report. This is about evidence. So I think we're at a point now where most people accept that big cats are in the are in the uk and when people have sightings or reports it's not a shock anymore it's not out of the ordinary and we've had there's been several uh pieces of dna sent off um throughout throughout through different sightings and reports some evidence has been gathered and it's been sent off to a university and it's come back as a panthera type cat it's, it's come back as a big cat um not species not species specific but still nevertheless it's come back as a big cat however we are still at a we've not we've not got the big picture yet what i mean is we've not got a picture or a video of one of those big cats in focus sharp detailed image of one and I think until we do, we're constantly we're constantly going to be looking uh, and trying to get this evidence of the big cats, even though most of us believe and know that they are here. We're still trying to get that image or that video of a a puma or a black uh, leopard, or it could be some strange kind of um, hybrid big cat that's a mixture of a few things. Now, what my concern is, is that when someone does, say for example, a wildlife photographer is out trying to catch a picture of a rare bird and sees this really, really large cat. And say for example, he's got a Sony A1 with a 500 millimeter lens that opens to f5.6, he snaps a very sharp, in-focus, detailed, brilliant shot of a big cat in the UK. He then posts it, he then posts it online, and then no one believes that everyone people think that it's he's it's AI generated, or they think it's photoshopped, or they think that it's a hoax. That's my fear, is that when we do get uh, a good image of a big cat is that it's going to be disregarded as AI hoax or photoshopped because then it will be too good to be true and obviously I'm a photographer myself so then I don't, I'd also feel really bad for the photographer because he would then be being called a liar he or she would be would be being called a liar what do you think? How do you think we could get around that? So when someone does get a legitimate video or image of a big cat in the UK, how could we get around people calling it fake or just assuming it's AI because it looks too good to be true? Now this, this not just in the big cats in the UK community, but other communities that um, you know have to do with the unknown or cryptids or supernatural, etc. Now I don't class big cats in the UK as cryptids or connect them with the unknown or supernatural because big cats are actual animals um but it just makes you think what if what if someone already has got um a clean shot legitimate clean shot of a big cat in the uk that depicts that it is a big cat and it could actually depict the species of it but it's just been you know, it's just been knocked off as, oh, that looks too good to be true. It must be AI. It must, must be photoshopped. It must be hoaxed. Or someone could actually have a shot or a video of one of these big cats and they've simply not shared it yet. But I think it's good that we're all still trying to get a shot and videos and more and more evidence of the big cats just so we can understand them more, just so we know exactly what type of big cat it is. Are there different types of big cats in different parts of the UK? Um, now, if you know any wildlife photographers or just photographers in general, maybe, you know, tell them about the big cats in the UK. Tell them that DNA, DNA evidence has come back to prove that at least some are here and 
imagine you're the you're the photographer that captures the first good shot of a big cat in the UK. That would be a really big deal, and they could uh, they probably win, you know, they get themselves published in some uh, photography magazines. But again, however, however, it probably would be half the community would probably think that it's too good to be true and not believe it, um, which is quite sad, but. It's expected, really. Um, anyway, just a quick video regarding that. Um, I think when we do get evidence, a lot of people will struggle to believe it based upon how much bad photos and videos we get on a weekly basis of alleged big cats in the UK. A lot of them turn out to be domestic cats or even dogs, and the videos are always pixelated and zoomed in on you know, camera phones. Uh, what we need is clean sharp videos clean sharp images so you know straight away if it's a big cat or not and if it is a big cat we might be able to tell out what species it is and learn more about it so that's it just a quick episode uh so please check out my other videos uh, if you're not if if you're into cryptids or anything supernatural paranormal or unknown i do many other videos uh, not just big cats in the uk to be fair this is my first big cat in the uk video for a while however i do have a lot of other big cat videos hence why this is i forgot what episode number this is although it will be in the title so as ever i'm jamie from dinosaurs and mysteries and please stay safe